They stand in the name of Jesus Christ. And as much as she wants to say, oh, you insult, spirit of condemnation and guilt, that is for your mother, Jezebel. And the truth is, it's not an insult. Jezebel is a thought, a whore, and a prostitute. That's what the Bible says. What is sexual immorality? Sexual immorality, fornication, and adultery is a spirit of prostitution. Zaga, zaga, for naka, naka. Apostle Rachel Botta says it the way the Lord says I should say it. What is an insult there? Anytime you bring anything up, the Lord has something for you. Greater is the one in me. Oh yeah, let's see what your father can have. Your father don't have no sense, but that's why I love, I love to fight because your father made my generation weak all the time when Satan comes. He uses condemnation and good. Oh, you insulted. No. When you allow yourself to be used by the devil, that's not my problem. The Lord forgives ignorance. But the Lord does not forgive malice intention. And you are not just somebody with malice intention. You love and you live for this. And many other women just like you here. You love it. You love it. You like to provoke people to move them out of their space. And you love people like me. Because me, the opposite side that I used to be was aggressive. Before I met the Holy Ghost, now I'm on fire for Jesus. And people like you are the reason why I got in trouble a lot. Because they would come to my face and it would not be no talk. Because the talk would even be stammer. Bam! One time. And that's why I played with men. But I turned the God of Abraham. Because that anger has been turned against the very enemy that used his wickedness against me. I fight Satan like he's a human being. I don't care. <laughs> Did I tell you to? Did I tell you to take the assignment for Satan? So let me finish. This one likes to move like that. But her children are moving with her. And she doesn't understand. There are witches out here. There are marine kingdoms out here. There are Nyanga and Vuduraya. But there are also people who pray to God. Hello? When people who pray to God, actually us, she's even more safer with the children of God. Because our God even has mercy and forgiveness. But when she fights with children of witches, niangas and shrines, she cannot be a, God, a daughter of God and fight people like this. Lala, which God of Abraham? The way she started a fight with me right now on life, she wanted to talk to me like she knows me personally, like I'm a little child at my age, 40 years, you want to talk to me like, for what? The Lord says we should respect one another. I don't know you. Boundary. The way I treat Sharon. That's why you see me comfortable with Sharon. That's my sis. We know each other personal. Boundaries. Knowing people who are in your inner circle and people that have been extended to you by grace. Hello? Can I continue? By grace. So my sister, you, you like to fight with different people. The children of God. God is merciful and gracious. But the children of Satan, how many of them have actually set a trap against your children? And the only way your children will get out of that trap is for you to change these ways. Because the God of Abraham will never be on the other side for you. Because you are a provoker. A tormentor. And how many of us are like that? And I'm not just talking to this Brenda alone. She's not commenting. She has not left. She's here. Don't worry. The Holy Spirit never makes a mistake. She's here. She has not gone anywhere. I told you that wherever you are, me, I'm here in Europe. The God of Abraham is here, is there in Kenya with you. So the fire of the Lord does not need plane ticket. You can torment me. I can be frustrated. I can even have a weak moment where if you were in person, I will hit you. But mm, thank the Lord, you see, you will not happen. But the God of Abraham is right there in Nairobi with you. She's here, don't worry. And it's also not just for us, it's for a lot of us. It's for a lot of us. And that's why some of us, we fought, we are fighting witchcraft attacks because our mama, because our mama, our mama were troublemakers. Our mama like to look for problems in people. But every mama, every little girl, you become a mama one day. And there's a certain age that the Lord stops looking at us as children and ignorance goes. He starts looking at the impact we live on other people's lives. It's the same thing I tell people who like to sleep with married men. From the age of 17 to 25, you were sleeping with married men. Now you marry. 
He will catch up with you. And you expect the God of Abraham to sit at your side? Remember that. Don't forget this. I'm praying in the name of Jesus. As much as you think I'm wasting time to talk, the music is not important. For those of you who want the music, the music is not yours. The worship is for my father directly. Take this, what I give you, the wisdom and the word of God. Because I speak scripture, my brothers and sisters. I just don't say John chapter 3 verse 16. But everything that comes out of my mouth is proven by scripture from Genesis to Revelation. And you can say I insult. My brothers and sisters, if I'm enlightening you people, the Lord did not hear the insult that you heard. And that's why the devil keeps you on the same place. And I condemn people. But the Lord looking at you, your standard to condemn people is too low. Too low. So if you're a mother like me, the reason why I don't fight with women online anymore, answer them the way I used to answer in the first year of ministry. I used to fight back because their words can be me. And the way women think and talk to another woman online here. You don't think like when I come from one mama. My mama raised me. If it's not your blood sister, you don't know them. You cannot just enter their space and talk anyhow. You have to know who you are speaking to. And always choose nice words. You have allowed online to fool you. Don't come in the presence of the Lord with foolishness. Because me, I'm on fire. And you see, I came from work. I woke up 5 o'clock today, went to work. Took time to come and praise my God. In peace. I don't ask nobody. And nobody has to join. And you don't also ask to pay any subscription. You want to come with me, Akanyang. And you think the God of Abraham will become quiet? You think the God of Abraham will become quiet? That's why where you expected the Lord to condemn me that I insulted, you were left right there. Where? On the gutter, in the gutters, where you belong. Like your mother, Satan, and your father, Jezebel. You keep on TikTok. You think my God makes a mistake. The snake is still around. And as long as the snake is in our midst, we go cast it out. We want our sister to be free. But if our sister does not want to be free, Brenda, we also say let the snake and Brenda die together. Because Brenda has chosen to, to die with the snake. God will never force. And that's why God has never forced anybody. Why you won't lie? If you don't read your Bible verse, they'll be manipulating you. You are scaring people. You are insulting people. But if you serve the word of God, you also know that the same God of Abraham. For the two boys, they didn't do much to Elijah. I always bring up this story. Those for the two boys, they pissed Elijah off and made him angry deep than the word explained. But the Holy Spirit explains to us. And how does he explain to us? God allowed for the two children to die. An animal to castrate all of them. Why? You know, be the same God. You want the problems that you have received this Jesus, where people go to people's face and try people, and then they say, Oh, I'm a child of God. No, when you come here, even me, I am held to the same standard as you. I have to fear God, I have to move right. And when you come to my face, and before you can also go and report anything to God, women, I want you to know something. I want to release some of you from guilt. Before anybody can tell you that they are going to report you to God, I need you to know something. God saw everything before it even happened. And that's why when you go before the presence of God, I beg you in the name of Jesus, be the, the first one to tell God the truth. If you had sex with a married man yesterday, tell the Lord you had sex with a married man yesterday. Because if the devil comes to speak for you, it will not wait. And then one thing is, God cannot be manipulated. So if they scare you, oh, Apostle Rachel Butter, they did that the first two years of ministry. People like this one, they will tire me. That was the guilt I used to feel. I used to tell God the first two years, they are only telling me that I insult, I insult. So it's, all I do is insulting. Why am I com coming here to proclaim the gospel? But the God of Abraham was training me, and one thing he lent me, the Lord told me, he said, every time they tell you that you insult, I need you to know that God is the one that knows everything through the Holy Spirit. So when I'm insulting people out of physical anger, intentionally, the, the Holy Spirit has rebuked and checked me on that. But do you know what freedom God gave me? 
I am allowed to move every evil principality. If I decide to kick it, I'm kicking it. As long as I stand on the word of God and what God has said. Because the word of God is my weapon to fight against the enemy. And because the enemy in my generation